Hello everybody and welcome back to Broken Brand and we've got some exciting Highlander news. It is official. The Henry Cavill Highlander reboot will start filming in January of 2025. Now we don't know much about the story and we do know it's a type of reboot. If it's a full on reboot from the story or from the show or taking the original movie and trying to create a more cohesive storyline of the movies and the lore don't know but i'm excited about it because highlander i grew up with the movies i love them i even love the show i would say i probably enjoy the show a lot more than i did the movies i i, I loved adrian paul i loved him as duncan mcleod and even even know weird spin off the was it the raven is that what that was called with what's her name from the highlander series Duncan's love interest, mortal love interest for a while, and I really did enjoy Highlander the series. I enjoyed the movies. I think the lore is very interesting, although it's very the movies after the Highlander series, like the Source and a couple of I think there's two or three. They kind of do a lot of weird retconning and other stuff and. Some people really like it. Some people really hate it. I'm kind of in the... I, I'm still, after seeing... Going through all the content of it years ago, I'm still kind of mixed on how I feel about it. But I do like the series. And because this is not a st series like Star Wars or something like that, it's got its cult following. And it's just not one of those like, oh, yeah, I remember I heard of that. Oh, that was that movie from the 80s or 90s, right? Yeah, I kind of remember that. You know, it's the one with Sean Connery in it, right? Yeah, that's what most people remember. The one with Sean Connery in it, right? <laughs> so, I mean, I think they're very, it's a very interesting story, a very interesting mythos, and I do love it, and I find it very entertaining. And I don't know what their long term plan is for this. If this is just strictly a one done reboot, I'm not sure. I do hope that if this is a reboot, it tries to just make everything fit well and i'm really kind of against reboots i really am but um since henry cavill is the king of the nerds he gets a pass uh, <laughs> i know I, i'm that's not hypocritical i'm really not a fan of reboots but if we could get highlander redone that puts all the movies and some of the weird redcon and reestablishment stuff from the series all together in alignment i think that would be a good thing and hopefully with this this brings more people to the fandom and that's a big win for me is just i don't know that many i have very few friends that actually have watched this like oh yeah i remember watching a little bit and so i would love to have more people to talk about this with uh especially the series because like hardly any i feel like in my friend circle, there's only one other person that has actually watched the entirety of the Highlander series, and he doesn't really like it that much. And I was like, but you watched the whole thing? He goes, yeah, I just did it because I had to finish it. And I'm like, yeah. But I do. I think the Adrian Paul stuff, Adrian Paul series was great. I do, I do hate the fact that he was typecast after that. Like, he just, all his other stuff is just kind of mm, mid at best. Although... I will recommend this, and I do recommend this movie a lot because it's weird. It's not perfect, but it's a great weird movie. Nemesis Game starring Adrian Paul. Go watch it. It's weird enough to love, and it's interesting enough to keep you thinking and guessing, and I love it. I've watched it multiple times. But back to Henry Cavill's Highlander, I do think that even though it is a reboot, and this is, and I I don't want reboots of something that I've watched in my lifetime. That's kind of my standard rule as I kind of dismiss it. But as much of a fan of Henry Cavill is of Highlander and all things nerdy, it's not like, oh, we just are trying to milk this IP. Henry Cavill will treat it with respect like he tried to do with Witcher and eventually kicked off because he kept saying, that's wrong, that's wrong, that's wrong. And they attacked him and tried to give him other stuff to say, hey, no, it was all Henry Cavill's fault. I'm sorry, I'm siding with Henry Cavill. Um, his his reputation for 
trying to be true to the lore and to the story and to be to the to the whole idea of any project he's on makes me okay with him doing a reboot of something that's been already been done in my lifetime. So I know you can call me a hypocrite if you want, but I give him a pass because I think this will be treated properly, not just some studio trying to make money, if that makes sense. So he's doing it for the love of the love of the story, the love of the seer, the IP, not the love of money. That's what he's doing this for, and that's why I think we should we should really be excited about this new movie and this reboot. So let me know. Especially if you are a fan of the series, let me know down below. I would love to nerd out and chat with you and just get around just having fun. So until next time, my friends, as always, I love you all, and there's nothing you can do about it.